Hey there, I hope you're doing wonderful. This video about how to blend rise and storyline nicely was quite popular on LinkedIn, so I'm sharing all the behind the scenes in this video. My name is Nates and I will review your storyline project, give you detailed feedback on how you can make improvements, what are the triggers that you could simplify, for example, what's not uh, clear, what's confusing to the learner, and you can jump over to storyaudit.eu and submit your project there and we'll be in touch. So let's jump right in. I'm going to be sharing two approaches. The first one involves a scrolling panel. The second involve involves just sort of shadows that you create somewhere else. So let's jump right in. Okay, this is my stage. But first, let's go to rise. And we can see if I click process, like this is the native look of the rise, you know, you have the shadows, you have the white content area and you have the background. So this is something that we have to mimic in storyline. So to blend it all nicely, you have to keep in mind, you want to use the same colors, you want to use the same fonts and uh, like same button shapes. And of course the effect like this shadow here. So we're going to create this stage now in storyline. And let's start with the scrolling panel. Now you might wonder why a scrolling panel? I mean, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. But it's not so scrolling panel offers a sort of like a masking trick that you can use in storyline so let me just center it and now we'll go to format shape and fill is going to be solid white and now for the shadow i'm going to use uh, these settings which i tested in my version so this is pretty close to what rise has so it's like 90 103 and a bit more blur so 13 like that. You can al already see there's some effect here. Now, if you check in rise, this is not a white background. So we can check what this color is. So it's F5, 5, 5, 5, whatever. So just copy paste. You don't want to retype like an animal. So go here, format background. I'm too fast, format background. And just paste it here. Also, you want to paste, you don't want to retype and make mistakes and, you know, get a, get a bit not correct color. So this is looking good. Now make sure that in the player, 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 loading, you have menus and controls off. So you don't want any of that stuff. You want to hide that this is storyline. You just want a nice clean stage. Okay, now we have this. So here I have prepared a character. It's from, you know, characters in storyline and I'll just drop it here. So it's in this inside scrolling panel now. And if I add a fly in animation from left and let's make it more slow. So it's clearer to see, you'll see exactly what kind of like masking effect this scrolling panel now has. Okay. It flies in, but you have seen it's from this edge. It's not from the actual stage of the slide it's from where we have the scrolling panel so if i click replay yes fantastic and that's what we want we want to hide that this is storyline we want to blend all of the edges with rise so there we have this now scrolling panel let me share one more trick here because when you go to the edge especially the edge that's down there scrolling panel the, uh, the scrolling the scroll bar appears which we don't want we don't want to show any scroll bars here uh, and if you want to have an object like this that's gonna be touching or just you know going behind the edge for example there's a trick I, I found out just you know a few weeks ago so let's say I want to do it like that so what you can do first Let's crop this. Why can't I scroll down? So I'll just zoom out. Okay. So let's crop. It's going to snap to the edge. There. But still we have the scrolling panel, the scroll, scroll bars. So what you can do, we go into st states, uh, make a duplicate. So you go command C and then shift control D to paste in place. Tip of the day. Now there you have basically a duplicate over the original. And now what you can do is you can just leave this here. That's fine. Now what we'll do with the original is 
we're gonna crop the image up. And you can see the scroll bar disappeared, but the image is still there because we have the duplicate inside the normal state. And that's how we can trick storyline and or, or actually the scrolling panel to not show the bar. So that's great. So we still have the fly in animation. Now maybe we want one more button. Like that. You make it more pill shaped. You make it orange. I'm not exactly sure what this color is. What I often do is make a screenshot of this and then drag it in. And then you can go to the format shape. You take the picker. There you go. You can delete this and also delete the edge outline. I keep saying edge or border outline. And you can say next or something like that. I know the font is Lato Lato. This is what's used in Rise, so make sure you have the same font so it really, you know, it doesn't feel like you arrived in a different location. Okay, maybe a bit smaller. So like that, and button could, could fly in from the bottom. So let's say one second, a bit later than the, the, Sarah, the than Sarah, align to middle or something like that. And for the starting position, we can add a, I'll just copy the button. We can go into, let's say, start layer. We want to start clean. We don't want to show everything at once. You know, there's sort of similar to process. You know, you have some sort of introduction. So let's do this here. So start, we're gonna put, uh, align this. We're gonna say begin, begin, and we will, hide this layer when user clicks and on the layer property so if you double click you can say pause timeline of the base layer so as soon as the timeline starts uh, this layer will pause it because we don't want to show the objects you know in flying in yet and here at the base one we want to show this layer immediately when timeline starts so it pauses it so show layer start when timeline starts this slide so like that and because this will start it will pause and these guys will still be at the you know time zero so nothing will fly in so let's just preview this should be fine if not i'll i swear i'll cut my hair okay yeah begin them ah okay one more thing, maybe you have seen the double lady there. It's because when we made the duplicate, also the animation was duplicated. So the lady, which is down there, animation, remove it. So only the normal, like the base object should have the animation, not the ones in the states, inside the state. Okay, begin, bam, bam, there you go. Okay, let's publish this to Rise. Okay, we're in Rise and let's add the storyline. So under interactive, scroll down, 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 down. There you go, browse. Loading, loading, loading. Okay, well, let's resize this. I suggest, I think the medium works best. And you can see there's a slight difference here. That's because, of course, there's inconsistencies. This is rise. So this is fa 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 fa. This is f5, 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 f5. So again, let's copy. We're not animals. Paste here. Done. There you go. Nice blend begin bam fantastic effect now some downsides when you have more objects inside the scrolling panel it all gets a bit slow it's hard to move stuff it's just a big bit sluggish so maybe for smaller projects this is great maybe you just create a window put some stuff inside but if you have more things going on more 
you know, animations, object changes, more objects in the timeline that you maybe pause and play again and things like that. It's, uh, I found it, it wasn't great to work. It wasn't nice. So is there another way? Of course it is. We're making a great video here. So let me jump back to storyline. So here I have another version of what you can do. Now this looks weird because it's wrong, but this is my uh, preparation of the shadows that we actually have around. So we're simulating the shadows. Now I did this in, in Pixelmator, you Photoshop, whatever you want. You know, you create an object, you add the shadow in the back, you merge it, you make a hole, things like that. So here's the shadow is quite light. So if I remove it, you know, you can, you can tell there's some difference here. So that's what I exported, which I quickly learned is not great because you have one image over everything, which means you cannot click. So the later I cut it up. So here's my like shadow left, shadow top. So you just have to align it now. So if I go to the left, to the top, like that already, we have nice effect there. Here it's not there yet. So then copy paste, you flip it down middle. Same with this one, flip middle right. There you go. Like. It just comes to life. You, it's all there. There, you just have to make sure these guys are on top. You know, you can lock it here so you don't keep moving it. And even maybe now, don't make a group because you might click it here. So just keep it separately, and all the other objects go underneath. So if I just copy the Cesera from here, you know, I can do it like that, and it's hidden. Um, just a small extra tip. Let's publish this slide only. So here you can select publish single slide version two blend storyline. Now let's make a quick cut in the post production. Loading, 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 and then you'll see what happens. So yeah, still looks good. Maybe you're not seeing it, but let me zoom in. There's a line here, like small white line, maybe disappears, you know, shows doesn't show because it all depends on the stage size, the browser size, the storyline resizes. And because these pixels are not perfect or maybe the like the ratio doesn't add up, some mathematical thing doesn't quite match and it's adding an extra pixel there. So what you can do is just move everything out by one pixel and that's how you get around it. So even though this is outside of the stage of the slide, still somehow in the code of the storyline and the, the slide. So just go one pixel. I'm just doing it with my keyboard up, right, left, down and let me publish again. Loading, loading, loading. Yes, no more white thingy here. Smooth as butter. This is how I want it. And you can see it's pretty similar. Even the shadows a bit strong, but uh, it's not that noticeable. There you go. Two tricks. Hope to see you find this helpful. If you need my help, jump to storyaudit.eu. We can connect. Otherwise, I'd love your support over at uh, buymecoffee.com. There's a link below. And uh, thank you. See you in the next video.